Hello lovelies, last year we were really pleased with how many of the topics that we predicted, we predicted loads of them correctly and even went through some of them in our live session the night before the exam. Our revision accelerator started yesterday and continues for the rest of the week. The live session spoke specifically on OCR skills because so many other people focus on AQA and it's not really fair. You can get the sessions in our bit camps, on our masterclasses, you can catch up on today's sessions, get the predicted papers and the walkthroughs. Now last year we reckon we got about 65% of the topics correct across the three papers which gives us a solid B grade for our predictions. Now just like last year we have done really really detailed walkthroughs for every single paper we've written. The person that writes these is an experienced examiner, she's written papers and does the walkthroughs and she will show you exactly what sort of things she'll be looking for when reading your papers. Now, we know that some of those types of exam questions can be really tricky to get full marks on, especially when you've written a perfectly correct scientific answer, but it doesn't exactly match what the examiners are looking for. We know this, we know what types of questions are and we know what strategies students need to succeed in these questions. So. In our walkthroughs, we've put a lot of time focusing on these. In our predicted papers, video walkthroughs, half-time revision sessions, and up four sessions, in our boot camps, or in our masterclasses. And these are organised also that you'll get the video specific to OCR with matching questions and matching set flashcards. Now, paper three is just not it paper, so predictions in this video will cover the topics from paper one that might also appear in paper three. I strongly recommend doing both paper one and paper three papers and the walkthroughs before paper one, because while we can predict topics, working out which paper they're gonna turn up on is much more challenging. So, please remember to revise absolutely everything. You can use this as a guide for your heart and revision, but please remember to go over all the material because we haven't seen the actual exam paper. But, a list to start you off. So looking at the pancreas and histology, Controlling blood glucose, gas exchange across uh, membranes, respiration, including the Krebs cycle, structure and function of blood vessels, plant hormones and responses, including the practical activity group that covers this, another practical activity group with muscle contraction and in the electrical activity, the relationship between photosynthesis and respiration. We'd like you to look at meiosis, lipid structure and function stem cells and their uses, transport across membranes, again including the practical activity group and the microscopy practical activity group, electron microscopes, enzymes and then blood cell structure and function. That is quite a long list of things we'd like you to cover um, and don't forget this could be in paper one or it could be in paper three. We're here with you every single step of the way. Ouch! This is why in some videos I explain scratches. <laughs>